Hey Cougs, guess what? If you're in Washington State, it's time to vote for the November 3rd general election. So, I don't know about you guys, but I've actually never voted before, and I finally decided that it was my time to vote. And if you're not registered to vote, that's no problem. You still have just a little bit more time. Make sure that you get your registration in online or by mail eight days before election day, or you can register to vote in person before 8 p.m. on election day. Like I said earlier, I've never voted before, so I was really, really confused on what to do. So I'm making this video right now and I've done a lot of research to help other new voters or maybe if you're just confused on what to do with this. Once you get your ballot, you're gonna open it up and find four things. The envelope that you'll put your ballot in after you're done voting, an optional security sleeve that you can put your ballot in, a short description slip that tells you about the general election with Dropbox locations and details, and the ballot. So on the front, you can find the referendum measures, advisory votes, the proposed constitutional amendment, and the vote for United States president and vice president. And on the back, you can see who you'd like to vote for for different parts of office. So in this video, I'll pretty much be explaining everything that's on the front page, but everything on the back page, you're gonna have to do your own research to see which nominees and candidates you like and who you wanna vote for. So let's start with the first option, referendum measure number 90. So this option asks voters if they would like to approve or reject a Senate bill that requires all public school students to take a sexual health education course unless excused by their parents. The curriculum will teach students about affirmative consent and bystander training. Students K through three will have to take the class once, Students four through five will also have to take the class once. Students six through eight will have to take the class at least twice. And students nine through 12 will also have to take the class at least two times. For students grades K through three, the health class will teach them about social and emotional learning to quote, build awareness and skills in managing emotions, setting goals, establishing relationships, and making responsible decisions to support success in school and in life, end quote. Next, we have advisory vote number 32. This asks all voters if they would like to maintain or repeal the tax on single-use thin plastic bags at all retail stores. According to Senate Bill 5323, the goal is to, quote, encourage shoppers to bring their own reusable carryout bags and to reduce waste, litter, marine pollution, conserve resources, and protect fish and wildlife, end quote. This will also raise $32 million in revenue. Up next is advisory vote number 33. This asks voters if they would like to maintain or repeal taxes on heavy moving equipment like dump trucks, jackhammers, and stuff of that sort. With this tax, about $103 million will be raised in revenue. The fourth vote asks if you would like to maintain or repeal taxes on businesses. Advisory vote number 34 plans to raise $843 million that can be only used for, quote, higher education programs, higher education operations, higher education compensation, and state-funded student aid programs, and for kindergarten through 12th grade if used for career-connected learning, end quote, according to Senate Bill 6492. The last advisory vote is number 35, where they ask voters if they want to maintain or repeal taxes on manufacturers of commercial airplanes, and this should raise about $1.24 billion in revenue. Moving on, we have Engrossed State Joint Resolution 8212. This asks voters if they would like to approve or reject the Washington legislator to invest the long-term care services and support trust accounts into stocks or other methods of investment. 8212 is intended to provide long-term care to quote, help families access and afford critical services like eating, bathing, or help with more regular daily activities, end quote. Lastly, on the front page, you'll have the option to vote for the next president and vice president. Your options will be Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden and vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris, Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump and vice presidential nominee Mike Pence, Libertarian presidential nominee Joe Jurgensen and vice presidential nominee Spike Cohen, Green Party presidential nominee Howie Hawkins and vice presidential nominee Angela Walker, Socialism and Libertarian Presidential Nominee Gloria LaRiva and Vice Presidential Nominee Sunil Freeman, Socialist Workers' Party Presidential Nominee Allison Kennedy and Vice Presidential Nominee Malcolm Jarrett, and lastly, the write-in option. So for pretty much the presidential and vice president options and all the options on the back, you're gonna have to do your own research on their policies to see if you like them or not. 
So this video was really interesting and really helpful for me to make. And if you found this helpful, or you think someone else is gonna find it helpful, make sure you go share it with them. All right, so right now I'm gonna go fill out my ballot and I'm gonna turn it in at the Cub Ballot Drop-Off Box. And while you're watching me fill out my ballot, go ahead and check out some of our other videos. Make sure you turn in your vote ASAP, and as always, go Cougs!